South Africa's heads closed to reaching the peak of the COVID-19 infections, despite the government effort to cope the spread of the virus. The trend is unlikely to change unless citizens change their attitude, according to the experts. Here's more details of that. The virus has struck down many, and government officials haven't been spared. Three provincial premiers and four cabinet ministers have contracted the virus. But it appears, from anecdotal evidence, that people aren't too concerned about the virus. I don't think they take it seriously, because um, they're traveling without wearing masks around, and then people they don't comply about the distance that uh, has been mentioned that uh, we must give it to each other. It's been suggested that a large part of the current non-compliance has to do with fatigue. The starting point is attitudinal. Our attitude has been, this is getting in the way of our life. And, and this, the beginning with the lockdown, we're tired of the lockdown, it's getting into our nerves. Yeah, we want to get out there and do stuff. Um, and and, 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 and that this is where you, put off, put off, you throw care to the wind. Compliance with government regulations is patchy, with some suggesting that there are two sets of rules. Maybe in the workplace whereby you find out that people at work, they, are, they put the mask back. The people somewhere around in the locations, they're just walking free. Even some of bosses, you find them inside the shop whereby the workers have got to wear masks, but the boss are not wearing masks. So they're not. They're not taking it seriously. Pandemics Data and Analytics is an organization challenging the government-backed modelers on their predictions. It says that wearing a mask won't necessarily prevent the spread of the disease. It's even hard to show an impact for medical masks worn properly by people who know how to fit them and know how to, you know, know how to use them properly. Um, so I, I would find it, uh, I wouldn't really believe somebody who said they'd done a major study and look, uh, the mask, the ordinary cloth mask wearing is effective. I think that's quite a, it's quite a speculative thing to say. With the relaxation in retail regulations, many malls are now open, but not everyone is following the rules. When I'm going through the shops, I find some people they not follow the rules about the coronavirus. Some people they washing hands in sanitizer, with sanitizer. Some people they just get in the shops without washing the hands with a sanitizer. Funerals are also a large contributor to infections. Large funeral gatherings are a fundamental part of most African societies. I come to your house when you have a bereavement because I love you. And as I do that, I'm actually endangering your life. So there was a time when we talked about the tension between lives and livelihoods. Now it is a tension between love and lives. As South Africa heads towards that peak, it's all about people's behavior and adhering to the rules and the regulations. And if they don't do that, the spike is going to continue.